today I'm reviewing the Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. Now really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. So this is a new product from Dermalogica. They've come out with a few recently and I was lucky enough to get a couple samples of this in a couple of my beauty boxes. Actually there's a couple beauty boxes I subscribed to twice to get a little bit more samples. Um, and this is basically their version of a vitamin C serum. And uh, so I'm very glad I was able to try this because the full size is $87 for one ounce. So getting a couple of these uh, was a nice way to kind of try it and get a feel for it. So I'm going to kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. And my first criteria is packaging. And obviously this isn't the full size, but the full size um, comes in an opaque dropper bottle. So it does, uh, for the most part, protect the ingredients from exposure to light and air. Uh, with the exception of each time you take out the little dropper, a little layer of it gets exposed for a very, very short time, so it's not as much of an issue. Uh, but I really love pump bottles. I don't know. These dropper bottles are becoming bigger and bigger, and I just, I like pumps. I like squeeze bottles. I don't know. But it's probably the best way to disperse the formula. But anyway, it's it's decent. Um, on to my second criteria, which is alcohol, and this does not contain any denatured alcohol, which is a good thing. My third criteria is fragrance, and this does contain some fragrant fragrant ingredients, uh, such as grapefruit peel oil and limonene. Uh, the scent does dissipate quickly, uh, however, the product would be much better without that. I don't know why all the vitamin C, not all of them, but a lot of vitamin C products, people feel like they need to have orange or grapefruit to have like a orange vitamin C scent to it, but... Uh, Products are better off fragrance-free. Uh, fragrance can irritate the skin and cause contact dermatitis, especially like grapefruit peel oil. It can be very acidic. And uh, so it would be much better without those two ingredients, but uh, the scent does dissipate rather quickly. So it's not as big of an issue. Um, and uh, there's not as many fragrant ingredients as there are in some other products. So, um, but it would be better off without the grapefruit peel oil and limonene. On to my fourth criteria, which is manufacturing location, and this is made in the U.S. God, you know what? I want to go travel where all these factories are in the U.S. Gosh, where Drunk Elephant is. I don't know. That'd be fun. They're probably all in L.A. It's hot there. I don't know. Uh, my fifth criteria is ease of use, and uh, it's very easy to use. I've been using this in the evening now for about three weeks, and I, I just haven't been using it during the daytime. And it's got kind of a light oil texture to it. And that's why I haven't been using it as much in the daytime, just because uh, it doesn't fully dry down. It kind of leaves a little bit of a dewy texture to skin. So that's why I've been using it at night. Uh, and then I've been using my C Firma serum during the day before I apply sunscreen. So this kind of been a nice little boost at night. Um, but it, yeah, it does leave skin kind of a little bit shiny and a little bit sticky, but most people, uh, I think the directions even say to apply this and then apply moisturizer after this, so that's not going to be as much of an issue. So um, anyway, so very easy to use. On to number six, which is antioxidants, and it does contain a lot of good antioxidants, uh, vitamin C, obviously, lactic acid, which is an exfoliant. It's a little bit higher up on the list, but uh, kind of helps with cell turnover and helps kind of brighten your skin. So uh, that's a good addition. It's got uh, one peptide, uh, vitamin E, and then it's got uh, several emollients and moisturizing ingredients. So uh, they've done a good job for the most part with uh, including some good antioxidants in this product. On to number seven, which is animal testing, and Dermalogica is cruelty-free, which I always love that. On to number eight, which is performance. And for me, I didn't find this to do a lot more extreme brightening uh, than my skin already had. Uh, just didn't deliver a ton more of any brightening results. However, if you haven't used a vitamin C serum on a regular basis and you start to use this, I expect you will notice uh, some initial brightening from it, especially if you haven't used any serums with vitamin C in it. It's always a good addition to your skincare routine. I um, mean, most vitamin C serums are most beneficial if you use it during the daytime before your sunblock. Um, and I did, did like that it included some uh, antioxidants, emollients. Uh, not a big fan of the grapefruit and limonene. And uh, thankfully, those two ingredients are near the end of the list. But it did do a little bit of hydrating, but 
not as much as I expected for the retail price tag, which, um, yeah, I mean, it definitely helps my skin, but overall, just not as much as I expected. And which leads me to number nine, which is the price and the full size. Obviously this isn't the full size is one ounce and it's $87. So it's pretty expensive uh, for a vitamin C serum, especially when you go to the ordinary's website and get one for $10 or $5. So, uh, you know, when you spend a hundred dollars or near a hundred dollars for something, I expect a lot more results from it. So, uh, it just didn't deliver that much for me, but if you're someone that hasn't used a lot of vitamin C serums in the past, you're probably going to notice a little bit better performance than I did. And then on to number 10, which is the It Factor, and I didn't give it the thumb up for that one either. Um, I just think for $100, you, you should expect a little bit more, and, and at that, a product that doesn't include uh, fragrance in it. So, um, yeah, it's decent. If you're looking to add a vitamin C serum and want, a good, want it from a good, reputable, cruelty-free company, uh, this is a good one to check out. Uh, I much prefer the Drunk Elephant C Firma to it or the Ordinary, um, which is more affordable. It just depends on how much fun you have. And uh, if you've had any experience with the Dermalogica brand and really like it, then uh, you might want to get this one just to have it all from the same brand. But uh, anyway, this did okay. It got 6 out of 10. Uh, had it not been so expensive, it probably would have done a little bit better. But uh, Anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this one out yet or not, and if so, what your thoughts were. So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come out with at least one new review every day. And as always, check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys. Go, Gabby. Gabby, come on, go. Gabby, come on, let's go out, Gabby. Come on. Gabby, come on, let's go. Come on, Gabby, come on.